welcome to my look of the week segment so first things first I'm the realist and I'm gonna start with my fix plus because my face is dry as heck with this winter weather and after that I'm gonna go in with my mattifying moisturizer Then I'm gonna spend the next five minutes looking for something because I can't get my act together. But you know what? I'm gonna trim it down so I have to torture you guys. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Primer, the only piece of Fenty Beauty that I own because I could not justify buying another highlighter. And I'm gonna just pretend like my edges aren't bothering me because I didn't brush my hair before this video. Next, I'm gonna dot on my foundation and just thank God that it still matches because ain't nobody trying to buy another $40 bottle of foundation or a $40 bottle of the adjustment drops. I really wanna get into the drugstore life, so if anybody out there has any good suggestions for oily to combination skin, let us to know. Now, in order to look less like a raccoon than I already do because of my sweater, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my dark circles, going in first with my Sephora Color Correcting Concealer and then with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. My NARS Concealer is on its last leg, so please bear with me as I pump the life out of it because I keep forgetting to get a new one. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I'm always wearing dark colors when I'm setting my makeup and I always get it all over myself. But you know what? That's just a sacrifice that you have to make because you don't want your foundation to crease. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye and my forehead with my Sephora Loose Brightening Powder. And if I make a mess, I'm not going anywhere anyway, so it don't matter. Now I'm just going to prime my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre and it's probably not good for the eyeshadow that I'm using my fingers, you know, the oil's probably breaking it down and stuff, but I'm going to just go ahead and do it anyway. Now I'm just going to go in and contour and highlight using my Cream Anastasia Foundation Sticks and I'm going to blend it out using the same Kat Von D brush that I've literally used for my entire face. annoyed by my edges but a girl ain't trying to put any more gel in her hair okay this is day two hair now I'm just using my shade and light palette to put powder contour over the cream contour now I'm gonna take my liquid chemical FX illuminating drops and I'm gonna go from an average highlight to a Powerpuff Girl grade highlight I know that was a super corny reference and it was a really far reach, but it was the first thing I thought of when I was putting this stuff on my nose. And you know what? I hope you 90 babies will appreciate it. And I'm just going to cover up that poorly delivered dad joke with one of my Becca highlighters in the shade Opal. Next, I'm just going in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna use Golden Ochre as my base, Burnt Orange as my transition color, and Red Ochre in my outer V, and then Primavera as my shimmer. And I'm gonna fast forward through this just because my eyeshadow game really ain't that special, so here it is. Next, I'm just gonna apply my Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Hawkwind, and I'm really feeling this color because it kind of matches my nails, but don't look too hard on my nails just because they are ratchet AF right now. And just because I said that, I know you're gonna look, so just don't roast my life, because I know, I know, I'm gonna get them fixed. Right now I'm just gonna apply my first coat of mascara and give a shout out to my cousin Aaliyah who was cheering me on during my filming process. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. Shout-outs? Shout outs to who? Anyway. Do you want to be my shout out? No. <laughs> 
Now I'm just carefully applying my eyeliner because you know when you mess up and you already got your eyeshadow on, you just gotta throw the whole bead away. There's no coming back from that. There's Leah just gassing me up again before I put the final touches on my look with this last coat of mascara. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for staying all the way to the end. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.